observed value. This is the measure that we use um, that, we, that we have in an experiment or some type of applied setting. Um, so it, it, it's the data that we capture, right? What we actually see, right? There may be some other stuff, like what really happens, um, but we can only record what we record, right? So, so think of it in terms of condom use. If I want to find out how many condoms someone used, I could do several procedures. I have an observed value procedure, all right? So how many condoms did you use? I can't watch you directly engage in the sexual act in a research setting. That's just not okay. But I could count the number of condoms that were left over in your, in your, in your garbage can. I'm going to miss any condoms that were left on your floor or stuck in your bed. So the actual value might be totally different, um, but the observed value is what it is. So in any experiment, in any study, you only really have that observed value. So we want to make sure that our, our measurements are as direct as possible uh, and, and it gives us a more believable, more reliable, more valid uh, sort of experiment.